right show myself out show myself yep hmm okay <laughs> i don't know how to start <sighs> Hmm. Welcome back beautiful souls. So today I just really wanted to do a really quick video about my update on my dreads. So I've had them for obviously a lot longer than a month now and there's been a lot of change I think with my dreads since the last video that I uploaded. So I'm going to go through that today and let's go from there. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I need to find out what day it was I had my dreads done. What day was it? That oh, let's have a look, shall we? Let's see, all together. Oh, I've had my dreads done for. What day was that on? Second of August. Right, second of August. That's oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So I've had my dreads for three months, and to be precise, nine days. So. There's been quite a lot of change. I'm getting loads of loops in it. I wouldn't really say much has been different with how I've been handling them and all that stuff. Like I've been wearing them up a lot and down a lot and <laughs> yeah. So all the loops have been forming loads and I wanted to do this video quickly because tomorrow my sister is going to be doing my maintenance on my hair and it's going to be the first time I've had maintenance done. So I wanted you to see what they look like before I have all the little loops tucked back in and literally I'm going in like a week's time. But my eye is really fucking twitchy. Um, I'm going in about four, a week. <laughs> I can't talk. I don't even know what I'm fucking saying. So I actually go, oh my God. I actually go in a week and two days traveling on my own. Oh my God. So I needed to get the maintenance done before I go away because I don't even know how I'm going to get it done out there. I'm probably just going to leave it. So what I'll do is I'll show you some of my loops that I've got. There's loads. Let's have a look. I'm going to try and pick out some really good ju juicy ones. But if you can see when I pull my hair out like this, can you see all in here, the little loops that have formed in my dreadlings? I'm just looking above because I'm looking at the viewfinder so I can find them for you. You can probably see them all. Um, I actually can't reach the back of my head, but if you look, can you see all the little dread loops? There's quite a few. So I'm going to pull out some juicy ones. Let me just have a feel. That one is a quite a good one. Can you see? Can you see? there i got this one here look can you see how much they stick out and they're wild they're just getting more and more loopy as a day goes by and i'm like oh my god oh my god they're gonna actually look wild this one here probably it actually looks worse when you see it i say worse it's not a bad thing it looks more loopy in person that one's quite actually quite loopy down below there oh look at that why would he pull that one up i don't know so yeah anyway as you can tell i'm a loopy mother Oh my god, I shouldn't say that. I'm a loopy, loopy head right now. This just loops. This one's quite loopy all the way down. Sorry, I will show you. I will go down like this. So yeah, it's been quite fun watching my hair change. Oh, look at this one. There we go. That's a juicy one. And then this one's quite a juicy one. This is my first ever dreadlock that was put in my hair. So she's thick up there. She's really thick. I'm calling it a she because I'm a she. Oh, they're just, they're just going wild. And I'm still loving my little dreadlock journey. I feel like it's the best decision I made for my hair. I absolutely love it. The only downside I have about it is I have eczema at the moment. And my eczema's on my head. And where I've been quite stressed with me leaving and kind of packing my stuff up and saying goodbye to people. It's kind of been quite itchy because of my eczema. Like when I, when I get a little bit stressed and stuff, my eczema flares up. And it flares up on my arm and it flares up my head so i'm kind of trying to not itch it it's a little bit tricky and obviously where you have dreads it's, it's a lot harder but this one here on the top of my head's been really hurting for some reason i'm not sure why i don't know whether there's like a an inflamed bit underneath there so it's hurting when i just touch it like this i could quickly show you a little hairstyle that i do without using any bubbles i've taught myself how to do i don't know it's just a bit of a random one but i'll show you now okay so what i do is i flip my hair i like so and then i'll pull two little dreadlings from the top of my head like so wrap it all the way around the top bit there hold them like this pull this down make sure it's all down and then i'll tie it there and then i'll get this bit flip it and then i tie 
these behind the back. And then I bring this forward, tuck it up in there. It doesn't usually stick out that much. But anyway, usually this comes up a bit more. And then I'll tie these round the front. And you know what? It's a messy bun, but I quite like it. This is actually very different to all the other times I've done it, but I like pulling it out like this from a distance. This is what it looks like. It's just a really, really handy way of knowing that you can tie your hair up without having a bobble. So if you ever get to the point where you're somewhere and you're like, oh my God, I need a bobble, just do that. Basically, it's dead easy. If you want to go swimming, you should have a bobble with you, you don't want to get your hair wet, do that. Super easy. Anyway, I taught myself how to do that. And it's really comfortable. It's nice to just get your hair out of the way sometimes and just out your face and just let your face be free and your neck be free. Anyway, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to undo it again because I like my hair being done. Anyway, happy with my dreadlocks and the next time you see them they'll be all neat and tucked away and all this loose hair that is out of my head might be all neatly tucked away as well. But I feel like I'm quite lucky because my hair dreads really easily. I don't know, like some people f get loads of fallout whereas mine just dreads. It's just I'm quite lucky in that aspect. I'm glad because obviously when I'm away it's not going to be as easy for me to get dreadlock maintenance if I wanted to get it done. So happy with that. I don't really know what else to say to be honest. I just wanted to do a quick update before I go travelling and it's like my three month hair birthday. Basically I am not happy with my hair. I'll just quickly show you what it looks like from behind. Oh yeah. So my next video is going to be another little quick life update video. As you can see behind me here, I've got flowers and balloons and you're probably wondering, if you haven't come onto my channel before, you're probably wondering why I've got good luck and that all there. And it's because I am going travelling and I'm going in one week and four days and I'm absolutely cacking it because I am going solo. So I'm just going to finish up with this video and then my next video is going to be about my life update of what's kind of happened in this year. I just want it to be a really quick one just so that you can kind of get an idea of what has been going on. I'm not going to get into it because that's for the next video. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was enough for you to just kind of get an idea of what it's like when your dreads are about three months old and what kind of happens to them. And I hope you're enjoying your dreadlock journey as much as I'm enjoying mine. Thank you so much for watching and take care, ladies and gentlemen. Have a fabulous day wherever you are in the world and peace out. Bye.